You're watching Fox 45 Good Day Baltimore. All local, all morning. With all of the beautiful weather, more two-wheel commuters are out there and on the roads. And we'd like everyone to be safe while sharing the road. Owen Murray from CarChex is joining us this morning with some safety tips. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so it is that time of year where more and more bikers are out there, either on the bike, uh, bicycles or motorcycles, and we have to share the road and be conscious of them. Yes, so we at CarChex, we consider ourselves consumer advocates for all your car needs and your safety especially. Okay. So, you know, I'm here today to just give you a few tips on how to look out for bicyclists and know their signs, know their their actual laws for them that protect them when they're on the roadways. Okay. So, first off, know their signs. So, you have left. Okay. You have right. And they're okay. You have right um I'm stopping. And this applies for motorcycles and bicyclists. That applies for motorcycles and because okay. there are some motorcyclists that do not use turn signals. They actually mm -hmm. do use their hand, their hand signals, signals because of the old style choppers that okay. just don't have, they don't require those turn signals. All right, so, so right and left, you can figure out, do the stop sign again for do people the stop, who don't know. It's either stop or yes. slowing down. Okay. Okay. So that, those are just some of the signals you should know that uh, they're, um, they're doing. And this also can mean right as well, depending, mo more so on a motorcycle because they can't take their hand off the throttle. Okay, got it. Um, in addition to that, Designated bike lanes, yes. as we were just discussing prior. Um, be mindful of the designated bike lanes. And when you're turning, be mindful when you're turning. Pay attention to that. In addition, the same thing with the designated bike lanes, honking your horn. Mm -hmm. Do not do that. Because <laughs> that, that will startle the, motor, right. the motorcyclist or and or the bicyclist, and that could cause an accident. But some people think, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honking my horn just a little beep beep to let them know I'm here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being safe. That's a safer thing. Well, most, well, not really, because most bicyclists, they, they can feel your presence coming up on them. Yeah. And, but they may not expect you to honk the horn. Next thing you know, they're going flying off the right. side and hitting a car or, what, you know, whatever the case may be. I mean, there's, in addition to that, there's also a law. Actually, 20 states, including Maryland, stated that you must give a bicyclist three feet. Okay. In order for them to have their space. Okay. So that's actually one law. And just alone, 700 and I believe 80 uh, bicyclists involved accidents happened last year. 181 of them in Maryland alone. So if you if you if you if you can, because you need to give them that space, switch lanes so they can still have that space. You can get around them because people are like, well, you know, they're slower than me. I've got to get going. How exactly. do I get around them safely? Just give them that three feet of space. Nice. Take your time. Just be patient mm -hmm. and get around them because they're they're just trying to get where they need to go just as you are. And we were talking about in the turning and in, in the, the bike lanes, if you're a driver and you're about to make a right-hand turn, you don't necessarily think, oh, I'm making a right-hand turn. There's right. no car I have to look out for. But you do have to look out for, for that, that designated bike, bike lane. lane. Correct. Exactly. So exactly. that's an and, issue. And, and if there's no bike lane, again, follow the, the same guidelines of just give them that three feet, slow it okay. down, just go around them nice and slow. And, and, um, and they have rules they have to abide by as well. Absolutely. So it's, the onus is not all on the drivers, Correct. but... Correct. The bicyclists have to follow the same road rules that the drivers have to follow. So when okay. there's a red light, technically they are supposed to stop and wait for that red light to right. change to green and so on and so forth. And they need to signal just as a car and a uh, truck or any type of vehicle needs to signal to let the individual behind you, next to you, in front of you know which way you're going. But chances are because they're on a bike, they know all those rules. They know everything to keep themselves safe. It's just everybody else who's not familiar with bikes. We have to uh, that is orient ourselves Perfect. with that. Yep. All right. Makes sense. Owen, thank you so much. My Appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. Thank well, you. Coming up